this SQL tutorial course. So in this session, we'll be installing Microsoft SQL Server. So all you have to do is go to Google and then type Microsoft SQL Server download and you'll get these search results. Now, out of these search results, click this one where you see SQL Server downloads from the Microsoft site. So we are into the site now. If I scroll down, we see two free editions. We have the developer edition and the express edition. So I'd be downloading the developer edition. I click on download and the download would start. Now this is the downloaded file over here, SQL Server 2017 SSEI development. So we get this window over here and we have three options, basic, custom and download media. So I click on custom. Now we see that we have a media location where the SQL Server will be downloaded and I'll click on install. You see that the download is successful and our installation will begin shortly. Here I'll click on installation and I'll uh, select this one. So I'll be installing a standalone installation of the SQL Server. So let us wait for this to open. Right, so here I click on next. Now I only have one instance of SQL Server, so I'll be installing a new one. So I'll uh, select this perform a new installation of SQL Server 2017. And then I'll select this free edition. I'll click on next. After that, I'll accept this license agreement. And again, I'll click on next. So we have all of these features over here. So I would just need the database engine services. So I'll select this. And again, I'll click on next. So I'd have to name the instance for the server which I'm installing. So I'll name the server as, let's say, Sparta. Similarly, I'll give the same instance ID over here. I'll click on next. So again, I'll click on next over here. So we see that we have two authentication modes, Windows authentication mode and mixed mode. I'll select the mix mode and then enter the desired password. Let me put in my password over here. I'll add the current user. So the current user has been added. Now I'll click on next again. Right, so we are finally ready to install SQL Server. I'll click on install. Right, so once the installation is done, I would also have to install the SQL Server management tools. So these SQL Server management tools basically help us to connect with the database. I'll click on this. And this will redirect us to the Microsoft web page. And over here, I'd have to download the SQL Server Management Studio and I'll be downloading the latest version. And this is the downloaded file over here, SSMS Setup ENU. I'll click on this. So here we have these three options, repair, uninstall, and close. Now I have these three options because I've already installed Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio in my system. And if you're installing this for the first time, you'll have the install button over here. So you'd have to click on install and the install would be done automatically. Right, so once you install the SQL Server Management Tools, go to the search tool and type Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Click on this and Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio will start. So over here, you'd have to specify the password which you gave while creating the instance, and then click on Connect. And to start writing your SQL commands, click on New Query over here. And then you can happily implement all of your SQL commands. Right, so this was the installation of Microsoft